stop shading me. You lost your senatorial bid at a blast week. Let G5 governance. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we we'll post our juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Members of the G5 governors on the platform of the People's Democratic Party have been urged to desist from taunting Atiko Bubaka over his loss. The call was made by the spokesperson for the People's Democratic Party presidential campaign, Kanto Senator Dino Melaye. The former lawmaker also said it is important to note that the members of the G5 governors lost their senatorial bid. The 2023 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, blasted the members of the G5 governors for gloating over his loss at a just-concluded poll, Sahara Reporter says. The spokesperson for the People's Democratic Party presidential campaign council, Dino Malaya, warned the governors not to rejoice over Atiku's loss because they also lost a bid for senatorial seats as well. Dino Malaya also noted that the governors cannot claim glory for Atiku's loss since they also failed to deliver the senatorial election. At the recently concluded 2023 presidential election, Atiku finished second behind the former governor of Lagos State, Bola Tunumbu, with Peter B. of the Labour Party coming third. Since the declaration of the 2023 presidential election results by the Independent National Electoral Commission, the G5 governors have continued to gloat over Atiku's loss. The G5 governors are Nyesa Mbik of River State, Okezi Bazo of Fabio State, Ifan Yuguanyu of Enugu State, Shei Makinde of Oyo State, and Samuel Otom of Benue State. Three out of the four governors lost the senatorial election except Makinde, who is seeking the second term, and Wike, who never contested for any elective position. INEC delivered caricature show to Nigerians. Dino Mulai foams over funds spent on 2023 elections. Meanwhile, in other news, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and its chairman have been accused of delivering a caricature show as the presidential elections to Nigerians. The allegation was made by Dino Malayi, a former lawmaker who represented Kogi's, Kogi West Senator District at the 8th Assembly. Malaya said the narrow design of the federal government, which the Central Bank of Nigeria championed, was aimed at deceiving Nigerians. Tunibu not our president-elect. Ferry Abuja Preacher makes unbelievable statement days after the election. Meanwhile, in other news, Pastor Sarah Omaku of the Family Worship Center said that Bola Tunibu is not the true president-elect for Nigeria. The late pastor of the church warned that Tunibu is a president-elect for the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission and the ruling party. According to the preacher, a new president-elect who will emerge through a fair, credible and transparent process will be declared. Now, let us start from top to bottom. Why? I, I, I keep seeing posts. Up. I think it's Mikio. I don't think I've heard some of them said anything. Maybe I stand to be corrected. Or Shea Makin this says anything. But I know that Miki, you know, um, some other people are coming out to shade Atiku for his loss. Why are they doing like that now? Why are they breaking the man's heart the more? Huh. Hey. I am PDP, but I know, but I didn't know that Atiku will play a very big fool after having known that this one is his last outing. He was listening to the like of Ayu and Tambo and among others who deceived him, knowing fully well that the G5 are powerful men. Now, where are Ayu and Co? At this junction, I would use this adjective to describe Atiku and I. The beast has lost his powerful sting, and the time has also lost his beautiful wings. Not, it's your, the reason description of them is perfect. I'm telling you. The G, what PDP would have done was have given this to you southern candidate but they felt since people of nigeria go vote for them people of nigeria no go really mind but we mind though shubon we mind what makes the g5 powerful people that have lost the respect in the hands of Ricky? look at how all of them feel isn't it not a shame that a fellow man will confuse you and bless him to entire life in fact one does hungry belly selfie g5 god will show them they never see anything first Okay. We get the betrayal. He even betrayed his fellow G5 members. They all lost us. Maybe the master Tambo will employ them. Maybe all of them even work for APC. I think Shail worked for APC and Wiki worked for APC. But okay, Zip I don't know who he worked for. And they find your guanyo. 
I pity you for describing Wiki as a betrayer. Please tell me who is Okawa if, if Wiki is a betrayer as you claimed. The G5 governors have nothing to gross about. Further, they should be ashamed of themselves. Abi, please tell me how Wiki, how Wiki take confused. Atiku deserves all the shading and more. He counted on Fulani's tribesmen and the oppressive domination of the not to propel him to the presidency of Nigeria. He was gluttonously greedy. Let him assault his source. You can have Ayo and Okawa and Dino as much as you like. Voila. My brother, you, are, you don't understand politics. Atiku thought he is smart. Okay, you, you understand politics. Atiku thought he is smart, not knowing that Wiki is more smarter than 1,000 Atiku Hubakas combined. It is exactly this kind of behavior you people used to disgrace and deny Atiku in the 2023 presidential election. You, Dina Milai, lost Kogi State, your state. Are you lost Benue State? Governor Basaki lost Edo State. Governor Kawa lost Delta State. But the G5 governors gave victory to the political parties of their choices, not PDP. They achieved their supreme aim of denying Atiku PDP in their various states. Atiku did not win any of the G5 governor states. Alright, although none of them achieved anything, all failed because of Miki that confused them. I don't know anywhere where okay, I don't know anywhere they anywhere they are, they'll be regressing what Wiki did to them. I don't sabi you. My own is that at the end of the day. See whatever is going on now, everything will be clear. Do not should be not be taken seriously in his words. He is one of the reasons why Atiku failed with his global government with his bogus statement that had never been matched with his actions. If Atiku is still relying on him, then he's wearing a green eyeglass that will never allow him to see the true colors of nature. Hmm. Okay. Nigerians, 200 million people must leave governor to Senate. Who oh, know the shame? These Nigerian politicians, people where they vote on oh, Nana fools, who oh, no vote, none of you vote them. Shame on you all. All right. Mm. At the end of the day, we could do it in it. Okay. My own is. Alright, well, at the end of the day, this is actually what is going to happen. Hmm? This is what's going to happen. Nigerians, a lot of Nigerians are not happy with the president elect. Right? But let us do something different. Huh? Let us do something different. A lot of Nigerians are not happy with the president elect, but let us do something different. If they all. Alright. Alright, on, on this, on this uh, note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.